Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another storage unit that I won. I'm coming after work, but I was lucky this time. I remembered I brought shorts. If I claimed, and I did win it for $30. This is another kind of trash unit. Um, I'm hoping I can get it all in one trip because this is not super convenient to my house and or work. Uh, but if I have to come back again tomorrow, I can do that. Today's Friday. Tomorrow I also work till late too, but I'm hoping I can get it all cleared out just in this one time. I'm hoping I also have learned from my mistakes. This is an indoor one, so I won't be sweating like crazy. We're stuff to see, so let's go. All right, guys, we're in. I brought a Tupperware. I brought two big Ikea bags, my gloves, some other miscellaneous things, some trash bags, and this is what we're working with. I was wondering if these shoes were going to be my size. They look kind of cute, but they are definitely large. So my goal this time is, unlike the other times, instead of just sitting here and going through each individual item right now at the storage unit, I really think that I'm going to just try to get it all to the house and then go through it there. Look at those bug. <laughs> I don't know what this chair is. Now, anything that's obviously trash, I'm feeling it's going to be a lot of clothes, which there's a chance I might go home, drop them all right in the washer and just then go through them all and then show you guys after. Maybe there'll be some stuff that fits me. <laughs> But yeah, it's looking like a lot of clothes. I'm hoping I can do this all in one fail swoop. Um, we'll see. Okay, I knew I said I was going to do this all at the house, but Dermalogica Partnership School. Dermalogica is legit the, the products that I use in my work and I've used for the last 20-something years. How crazy is that? All right, so I just wanted to give you an update of kind of where I am. It is primarily a lot of clothes. I got some other stuff, but lots and lots of clothes. I got a new bin. And here's where I am right now. I have a feeling besides this one, they're mostly all clothes. Like I said, I'm going to wash them. Maybe I'll find some things for myself, things I can donate. All right, continuing on. All right, guys, so the first load is in my car. I grabbed a couple more bags. There really isn't that much more left. The big reveal is going to obviously be after we do all this stuff. So now I have to go up the stairs to number two. We're on floor number one. I'm sweating like crazy. And I'm gonna show you the walk I have to go to get back to the room. All right guys, so here we go. Hopefully I remember where I'm going. The lights always turn off. And there's my thingy. So not as far as some of the other ones. And I'm gonna show you where we're at right now. Hard for me, get me. So really not much more left. I'm going to make sure I put the trash in last so that it would be the first thing I throw away in the trash meeting. There was a lot of like paper products and things like that and underwear I'm not saving, socks I'm not saving. The only thing I haven't gone through yet is this bag right here. So I'm going to do all that right now. Bring it all downstairs, get my money back, and then next thing you'll see I guess would be what I got. All right guys, cleaned out. It didn't really take me that long. I am super sweaty, but like I said, I'm doing this really for a workout, and now I can hopefully donate a bunch of stuff, so let's close this door up. I don't know how it closes. Like that. Now I'm going to get all the rest of the stuff. It's just all up right here, just this last little bit. Get it all in the car, and then go get my money back. All right, guys, I'm back. It has been almost a week. Eight loads of laundry later, and we're here. Also, I'm wearing my new pajamas I just got from Walmart. They were on sale for $5.88 a piece. They are the softest things I've ever seen in my life. And the bottoms even have pockets. Love my life. I bought two sets of these and another set of pajamas. So I'm already have the summertime matchy pajama. So without further ado, the whole thing was pretty much mostly clothes. I got it done all in one trip. It was 97 degrees that day. I only really had two trash bags and another like small bag full of actual like trash. Otherwise, everything else is right here. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is show you the non-clothing items. Then I'm going to show you the stuff that I'm donating. Then I'm going to show you the stuff that I kept for myself and for Rob. And then some things I'm going to be doing on Poshmark. So, without further ado. So this right here needs to be cleaned pretty good. And it did have a little bit of a funk inside of it, which it might still. It's a Dell um, laptop case. Still not great, but I mean, it's in pretty good condition. I cleaned it pretty good. It was funny, I was cleaning 
something else I'm about to show you. And Rob was like, why don't you spend as much time cleaning our stuff as you do other people's stuff? And I'm like, touche. <laughs> touche. <laughs> so yeah, so I got this. I'll probably put this out there maybe at the flea market for $5. You know, if somebody wants it for cheaper, they can have it. Now this one also needed a lot of cleaning. And this is the Dermalogica bag, which I can't believe it. Like, it's funny. This, she was, actually went, I mean, I must have went to the school, the Dermalogica school. I mean, I've been to classes for Dermalogica, but I've never been, I never enrolled in a school. But it's a pretty neat bag. I'm unsure if I'm going to keep it. Because it does have a lot of like miscellaneous things you can put stuff in. So I'm unsure if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to put it for the flea market. I might keep it. Though I feel like I have 10,000 bags already. Well, you can't have enough bags. Alright, the next thing. This came in a set but only one piece was on. So this is a bike lock. Never been used. Still no thing. And these were also connected. So these are all brand new too. This is like a cup holder for a bike. And... I don't know what you put in here. There's something in here. Hold on. Well, it's, it's shut like there, but what's inside of it? Batteries. Batteries for what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there was a fourth thing on here that's not there, but also has batteries in it. I mean, I guess I'll leave them back in there. <laughs> in case this thing does take batteries. And lights up or does something. I couldn't see where you put batteries on this. This looks just like a little bag. Anyway, so I got that too. I don't have a bike, so that'll probably go to the flea market. Then there was a whole pack of socks. There was, so this is three pairs right here. They're brand new and they're moisture control. Is there a brand on them? The Reebok. Now there actually was a fourth one, a black one, but only had one. And I don't know where the other one was. It could have been all miscellaneously throughout the other stuff, but most of the socks I just threw away. Um, so yeah, some Reebok socks. Robbie wears like only black socks, so I'll probably put these in the flea market. I didn't wash them because they're all still connected, but I'll, oh, uh, still connected. <laughs> that came off, but it's still connected. So I'll probably put that in the flea market. Then I found this American Crew. What is it? Moisturizing shave cream and Rob said he's almost out so I'm gonna give this to him. I don't know how old it is But he said he'll use it. So there you go <laughs> And then There was just a random new toothbrush I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this for teeth since it was opened, but I might use it for cleaning So boom and then besides, what I'm, ugh, besides all these uh, The spoon which I cleaned up really good. I don't know. I liked it because it had this weird thing like this is this for ice cream? Is this to like swoop ice cream? I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. And then there was this big like Xfinity bag, which I think I'm gonna take to the flea market. It isn't amazing inside, but what I'm gonna do is if somebody buys something big, I usually can't help them out because I don't have any bags. So any bags I find in storage units, I'm not gonna take with me to the flea market. So if they buy big stuff, I can just put it inside their bags for them. Then we got Portraits of Devotion by Beth Moore. We got the deluxe edition of Fabric. She definitely was a, a, a Christian of some way. We got this book right here, Prosperity Promises. We got two of the Holy Bible. You can't throw these away. <laughs> I mean, I might put them out for like 50 cents, a dollar, these books. Um, another Holy Bible. <laughs> And then, another Holy Bible. So, she definitely liked her Bibles. Um, so, we got all those. And then there's one other item, which I'm going to take you over there and show it to you. So, I'm going to like drag it over here. You might have seen it in the, in the picture from ahead of time, but let me show you. Alright, so here's the thing that needed the most cleaning. It took me about a half an hour. I had to spray things, let them sit, scrub. But I did pretty good. Half an hour. Um, I'm probably going to put this on Facebook Marketplace for like 10 bucks. I know, I know people say, you spend all that time and energy. I know. But if somebody really needs this and they can't afford it, 10 bucks, fine. They want five bucks, fine. <laughs> I don't want to bring it to the flea market because it's just too big. It'll take up too much room. All right, now I'm going to show you all the stuff that's going to donation. But first, I'm going to tell you about it. Now, since I had so much this time to donate, I was kind of conflicted. I was like, do I donate to a bunch of different places? You know, I don't want to overwhelm any one place with all the stuff that I have to give them. So what I did, 
See, I try to, I try to put this flat so it would get better. I don't seem like it's getting much better. Um, I called up Hope's Closet. Now, Hope's Closet is the place that I go to shop to find the good deals. And I was like, you know what? I buy from them all the time, but I never give them anything. And their organization works through the church that's right there. And they also, you know, use that money for other organizations also. So I asked them, I said, what do you do with the items that don't make it on the floor? And she said that they donate them to rethreaded. Now, I don't know if rethreaded is just in Jacksonville, but what it is is they help women who escaped human trafficking and they use those items to then make new items to then sell. Um, I didn't realize that until recently when this whole human trafficking thing started like hitting the news that Jacksonville is a hot spot. Did not know. Hope they don't take me. <laughs> Anyways, so I thought it was a great, great way to give to like almost two places at once. So it's like killing two birds at one stone. And I love the fact that they do that and that those women have a chance to, you know, have purpose in their life and make money uh, by building up new things and, and helping new things grow. So I really, really like that. So now I'm going to show you all the stuff that I'm donating, but it's all going to be in bins, but I'm going to open it all up, show it to you, and then we'll move on to the, I guess, the little more fun part. So here we go with all the donations. These things are all filled to the brim. Now this one <clears throat> is my bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stuff out in here and here, and uh, so that's mine too, and put it in trash bags because I want to save my thing. <laughs> For more orders and things like that but yeah so there's a wide variety of sizes uh i'm thinking her husband was like like uh in like the size 40 side 44 she was like between an xl and a 3xl and maybe her son was like a size 30 pants and and like a medium shirt it varies i mean it, it was just the the sizes were just very very varied now some of these items do have a little bit of stains on them that's why i figured that they're going to maybe give them to rethreaded but i didn't want to just throw them away all right, now for the next step. Okay, so now time for the what did we keep. So I'm going to go through Rob's stuff first. He tried on everything except for like a couple items, and so I'm sure that the other two will fit too. And then we got my items, and what I'm going to do, actually is try them on for you so you can see what I picked. Um, so first thing, there was a, just a pair of a, a Via, and they were brand new. They were stuck to a thing. I did wash them. Socks, and they're black, so that's for Rob. There is these pajama pants. They are by Izod Sleepwear. He didn't try these on, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be fine for him. They're just regular, like, pajama pants. And then, he didn't try these ones on either, but he tried another pair that's similar to it. These are by Under Armour. And they're just, like, kind of like just dress pants. But they are, like, swishy material. So I don't know if he's going to love it. But I was like, you know, a free pair of pants, not bad at all. And they look almost pretty much brand new. And then the other pair he did try on, and these are also Under Armour. These are a little bit more like slacks. These are Under Armour, right? Yeah, Under Armour. It's so funny, like I saw an H, and I thought it was Hurley. So I saw that H, and I was like, is that Hurley? He goes, that's Under Armour. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know my brands. You guys know that by now. I don't know brands. I'm all about what looks good on me. I don't really care what the brand is. Then... We got this by Seaport and Company, or Port and Company, and it's just a gray tee. <laughs> nothing, nothing to make anything special. And then, I don't know, I've never seen him in one of these shirts, but I thought maybe on the cruise, if you wanted to put one of these on, like when we're going to the pool or something, he might like a little, what they call him a white beater, <laughs> or like, that's a slang term for him. <laughs> don't come at me. Then there was these, and they were by Fox, which I believe Fox it, it, a long time ago was a really big company. It's this pair of shorts. They're kind of like fitted a little more skinny, I guess, a little bit. And he does like to wear basketball shorts to bed. And these are Nike. So these are just a pair of Nike basketball shorts. And these are... Quicksilver, so a pair of Quicksilver shorts, we got that, he actually made out pretty good, and then these are Speedo brand, and these are like a bathing suit, not like a bathing suit, they are a bathing suit, so these are a bathing suit, I thought this would be perfect, he has two pairs of bathing suits, but like the second pair I think I got him at Walmart, 
you know, it's not like the best quality. But these are nice, got like zipper in the back, adjustable. It even has this inside like shorts. Instead of like that netting, it actually has like shorts plus support. And then the last item for Rob, these are also Fox. These are also Fox and there's another pair of shorts. They have Fox on them right there. Fox. So that is all the stuff for Rob, which I think that's pretty good. I mean, he made out, I mean, you figure I paid $30 for the storage unit. You pay more than $30 for this set of clothing. Even at the thrift store, you would pay more than $30 for those, those pieces of clothing. So that's that. And now it's time for the stuff I kept for myself. And then we'll go on to the third segment in this situation. I put them in a bag. Let me get them out. I think I'm going to show you all of them because there's not really that, that many. And then I'll try them on for you guys. So the first thing, we'll maybe show you bottoms first. So these are Tommy Hilfinger pajama pants. I'm pretty sure they're made for a man, but I'm going to wear them. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> they're universal or unisex. So yeah, those were the other pants. There's these and they are Faded Glory. That's a uh, Walmart, isn't it? And it's another pair of like loungy esque pajama run to the store pants. <laughs> then we got <clears throat> now these almost got confused. These are by Love Nation. And they say it says large on them. But they are very tiny, so I'm wondering if it's large for a child. You'll see when I try them on. They're pretty darn tight, so I, I, I'm not sure. Because does that look large to you? <laughs> it doesn't. I'm going to try them on for you because they do fit, but they fit fit. <laughs> and now for the shirts. I, I saved this even though it's like a little big. Just because it says Nassau and Carnival on it. Because I've been to Nassau on Carnival many a times. <laughs> and then this is another one I just kept for like a pajama shirt. And I don't know if that's to be like PS4 or whatever, but it just says Google and then it says a big Google on the back. And I'm like, and since, since Google is the one that pays me on YouTube when people watch my ads, you know, one of my love shirt. Then this is also a man's, this is open trails, but I don't care. I don't have any of these long sleeve situations. Not that I know I'm going to need it, but to have one of these, what do you call them? Like, I don't know, thermals? undershirts you know <laughs> that and then the last item now since my Tom Brady left the Patriots I pretty much don't watch football anymore because I don't want to be a Buccaneers fan but I you know I silently cheer for Tommy I realized that I was a Fairweather fan and that and I was following him <laughs> so Rob is a Jaguar fan now this is a size large so it's, it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit faded but that shows a true a true person so Rob is a hardcore Jaguar fan. So I figure if we ever go to a game or if we ever watch at home and he wants or wants to go out watch it somewhere, I could just throw this on and be kind of team with him. All right. So without further ado, let's try on the pants and then we'll try on the shorts. All right. So here they are. Don't mind all the stuff everywhere else because I'm going to clean it up after the video. See, they fit perfect. Good to go. I think they're size medium. I like them. All right. Pants number two. So here these are. I like them. They got pockets. They're a little bit bigger. I like that situation. So cute, huh? Very soft. And I kind of like how it is tighter over here so that it doesn't go underneath. It might have been a little bit too long if it wasn't. All right, now for the tight, tight shorts. Pants. So here are these. I really do think that they got to be large for a child. Because <laughs> they are skin tight on me. They're a smidgen short, but if I wear my regular um, shoes, I won't really care about it. But I was going to wear these to work. I mean, I can get down in them. They don't move. Should I start shopping in the kids' department for pants like this? I think they have an extra, extra large. Actually, when I was at, oh, well, we were down here. When I was at Walmart and I bought those pajamas, I actually went to the kids' department and bought like five or six kids just plain tees. I like the way they fit. I bought them in the extra, extra large. And they fit better than the Junior's one in Walmart. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so here's these. 
They fit. I don't feel like they're going to slip on me. No crack action. Now to the shirts. And here's this one. I mean, it's just a shirt. But it does say Nassau and it does say Carnival. I can wear this to sleep on Carnival. Sometimes I might like be in my pajamas and go like get a piece of pizza or something. I'll be like, hey, representing. <laughs> All right, next shirt. So here we go. Just another kind of like pajama shirt that I'll wear for sure, especially in the winter. Not right now. So like this. Google Pixel 4. Oh, that's what it's for. Pixel 4. Why didn't I read it before? <laughs> Google Pixel 4, that's what it's for, not PS4, you know, whatever, that's PlayStation. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Another thing that's just nothing special, <laughs> extremely too hot to be wearing right now, <laughs> but, and if you see a little bump in my chest, it's my Fitbit, I don't like to wear it on my wrist, so my Fitbit on. <laughs> um, you know, I can wear it just like this, or I can put a shirt over it. Remember like back in the day, we all did that in high school, you always had these shirts, you always put a shirt over it, and it was so cool. Can we bring it back? Could that be a new thing? All right, final shirt. And here's this one. This is the Jaguar shirt for Rob. Not for me. I hate when sleeves are like this. So I would definitely be doing it like that. Like that whole situation of here, just like, I can't, I can't. It's a little big, but hey, you know what? I like a little big. All right, so now for the final finale part of this video. And if you were having Papa withdrawals, I just woke him up, he was sleeping. There he is. You're having, you crying? What's wrong? You love mama? You want me to leave you alone and go back to sleep? Okay. Okay, now for the final section of this video. So as you know, I've been selling on Poshmark. I sell incredibly low, but you know what? It is what it is. I'd ra rather have people get a good deal. So I found a few items that I possibly could sell on Poshmark. Now, I'm going to list them before, but I'll put them not for sale, and they won't be available until this video comes out. So one thing I found was this Fila shirt. It was in a 2XL. Fila looked pretty much brand new. So I figured I'm put it up there for $5. And then of course Poshmark will take $3 of it, but you know what it is what it is. And then I found two, which I'm probably gonna put as a team. Pair? Pair. <laughs> Pair of these Adidas uh, golf shirts. I saw people had them up there. These are size medium. I saw people had them up there for like $12 a piece or $15 a piece. I'm gonna do $10 for both of them. <laughs> then I found this Puma extra large uh, woman's shirt. I'll probably put this up there for $5 also. <laughs> as you know, when I do my selling, I'm not here trying to, I'm not using selling as my income. I know a lot of people on Poshmark, like that is their income, like that's their job. So they have to put high prices because that's how they're making money. I'm trying to just break even. <laughs> Maybe make a couple dollars. Then I found these and these are super cute. So these are by Vineyard Vines by Shep and Ian. And they're size 30. Size 30. But look how cute. They got little whales with American flags on them. I saw people selling these for pretty expensive, like 20 bucks. I'll probably have them up there for five dollars. <laughs> I almost was tempted to be like, can I wear these? Because they're cute. But then I'm like, what if I try on a pair of 30s and they don't fit me? Even though I usually have a, like, like men's are different than women's. And that looks kind of tiny. And they don't usually have a lot of give. So I'll probably put up there for five dollars. <laughs> and then the final one, which I thought was a kind of score. I could be wrong. You can let me know. This is size extra large. I guess it's unisex. But it's from Disneyland. Disneyland Resorts. And it is a big tigger. To me, it looks almost brand new. I, I think it's supposed to have that kind of like, like tigger is supposed to be that color. Like kind of, it's kind of like, is it tigger, is it not tigger? But it still stands out, even though it's a lighter color, it still stands out. And it even has a drawstring at the bottom. And you get the straight up Disneyland over here. And... Tigger 68 here. So because this is kind of like a heavier and kind of a neater type item, I might list this for $10. And that'll pretty much be the money back for the stores with the stuff, other stuff I've gotten. Now then, now keep in mind, the woman who owned this unit, I'm going to guesstimate she was in her mid to late 60s. So I would consider her more 
mature. So I did make a couple mystery boxes, three, I made a few, I guess, three mystery boxes, and they're going to go for really, really cheap, but keep in mind, they are going to be more mature clothes. They're not going to be trendy, fashionable, new stuff now, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, young folk. <laughs> um, so I have a 4XL, no, a large, sorry, not 4XL, a large and extra large box. This will have six items, and it will be $6. And then I have a 3XL mystery box, and it'll have four items, and it'll be $4. And then a 2XL has eight pieces, and it'll be $8. So, yes, I'm not making a whole lot of money on this, but I feel bad because I usually don't... Like, usually when I sell clothing on there, it's clothing that I opened up in videos that were for me. So they were kind of like my size. So when I got this, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a couple little cheap mystery boxes so that everybody can feel like they're like more involved. So all of that will be on Poshmark now. I'll link it down below. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more this summer. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep looking. So if like one pops up that's like insanely cheap, like another $10 one, one trip one, I can do it. But I, even though this is a climate controlled one, and thank God it was like close to the elevator, I was sweating like bullets. <laughs> Like, I was sweating like crazy because I had to make two trips to the car and then you had to, and like, then, you're, then your car already by sitting there all that time is 5,000 degrees and then you're driving home. It was just like sweat like everywhere. My whole back was filled with sweat, but it wasn't a good workout. And I actually do enjoy a good sweat like that. But when I came home, I had to like lay in the air conditioning for like 30, 45 minutes to an hour until I like fully cooled down so I could go take a shower. Because, you know, if you're too hot, like it's just too much of getting in a shower. And I still did like a cooler shower which I would never do but I just didn't want to get overheated but they're fun they're fun they're a lot of work and I take it more as I don't take it as a like an income thing for me I take it as a huge mystery a huge gamble and a huge amount of work because I need to get myself more active and so I'm using these situations to get me a little more active even though now my elbows are starting to hurt from all of the like my doctor said I have like tennis elbow from all the lifting of all the stuff I'm doing which Speaking of that, I'm about to go lift all the stuff in the car and then drive it down there, which is maybe like 10 minutes away, so it's not that bad. Um, so, I know some of you enjoy these and some of you don't. I'm going to try now to stick to ones that are just mainly like under $30 trash, knowing that people left the stuff and they didn't want it, unlike the first one. Uh, so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.